Yes. I am one with the spirit. Ashe, Ashe. And tonight we have two, actually three, very special guests with us tonight. We have Joseph Kelly and we have Sheppy Yu, which is not here right now, but we have some music that we can play for him and we could ask questions. And we have the lovely Empress that's taking pictures and recording this while we all speak. So I want you to say hello to Mr. Kelly. Mr. Kelly, say hello to the audience. Good evening, good evening. Greetings, greetings to everybody. How are you doing out there in uh, Radio Land? How are you doing, Mr. Kelly? I'm doing wonderful. A little bit of a drive, but I'm here. I'm here on time, so that, that always matters. I'm very That is a, such a great thing when people come on time, so I'm so happy <laughs> with that. So. Well, Mr. Kelly and I were in competition earlier this year at the Virginia Reggae Awards, and I got the the count here. Um, <laughs> actually, I did this months ago because if you look at the site now, you won't see much of anything. So, but uh, we were up, we were both up for media because, well, I'm on the radio and on TV and Mr. Kelly uh, does photography and he does a lot of cultural events. I'll do his bio in a minute. Uh, but he won with 215 votes, where I got uh, 95. But I was second place, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very happy to be second place. But you know, obviously he got uh, about 200, no, 120 more than I did. But you got I, in. Yes, got I was in. right that, behind that's you. That's all that matters, you got in. I was right behind you, and I feel very proud of that, so. Um, but let me tell you a little bit about Mr. Kelly. Mr. Kelly, Joseph Kelly, is an event photographer out of Norfolk, Virginia. I have lots of relatives actually in Norfolk. In fact, after we got finished with the awards, we went out to find some of them. With 10 years of um, video and for photography under his belt, he has covered a majority of the cultural, the Caribbean cultural concerts and festivals within Hampton Roads. Besides for lending his lens to major events, Joseph, along with his partner, Eric Fernandez, has a photography studio in the Norfolk area where they provide photogenic services. Joseph's vision for his company is to make a firm where photography is transformed across all spectrums of the art world. And since I brought up the Reggae Awards, he's won three, correct? Three of them. Three. <laughs> the last three. <laughs> the last three, um, including the one that I was in, um, the 2016 Reggae Awards. So let's welcome Mr. Kelly to World Reggae Party. Again, greetings and greetings. Uh, I definitely appreciate the welcome. Uh, like you spoke on the uh, Virginia Radio Award thing, I take pride in my culture down in the Hampton Roads area. I'm actually from the area, the little area they call it 757, which is north of Virginia. Oh, yes. And uh, I just, is, uh, we actually got uh, a thing called the Carafest this weekend, August 20th, and we do it every year. And for the last 10 years, I started off covering what they call the Carafest. Okay. Uh, from the very first one until the we had the tenth anniversary right now. So and I've watched it go from like a thousand people to right now the head counts like thirty thousand people. Wow. So we and we bring them in from all over the world. This weekend? This weekend, August oh, 20th. Oh, well, I wish I knew about it beforehand. Yeah, so. yeah it's gonna be pretty exciting. Market Heritage actually is gonna close the show down. So, oh, I, I yeah. didn't hear about that. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a nice headliner. Of course, I mean I've already ran into them earlier this year, but. You know, we get a lot of really nice reggae uh, events down in the Virginia area. Uh, we got Sizzle Kalanji coming on September 3rd, which I haven't been around for the last seven years. Okay. You know, uh, it's a lot of big things. Reggae is a big thing in my community. Like, it's unbelievable. 
how much how it's came, came along the way. I moved in the area in 1992, and when I moved to Virginia, there wasn't a big reggae scream in this area. But now to see all the festivals and the cultures, and even to see the Virginia Reggae Awards where they actually honor people that does things for the community, because it actually is a community-driven program, if anyone yes. knows about it. Yes. So uh, I want to tell Seiko and, and uh, Monique and all those people down in the 757s, give thanks for the Virginia Reggae Awards, because it's nice to be noted for what you do in the community, because I do everything from my heart, you know what I mean? It's like, it's my give back to the world to see what I see out of my eyes. That's why I got in photography. Uh, and I would love if you do some pictures of me after I get my hair braided. Mm -hmm. gotcha. But, <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. but I also want to thank the 757 area too uh, for the Reggae Awards and hope that they'll do 2017 so I can beat you. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, uh, I'm very proud to represent the reggae community here because when I started five years ago, it'd be five years in October, they were like, reggae? In Northern Virginia? <laughs> There's no reggae in Northern Virginia. And I was like, well, I'm going to have to uh, put a stop to that. We're going to have to have some reggae in Northern Virginia. Thank you for bringing reggae to the world. That's, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's what reggae is about, bringing it to oh, the world. Reggae oh, is yes. the best. Oh, yes. <laughs> and I brought it here. You know, I also had some help. We, we have, um, in this area particularly, uh, we have Two Raw, which is um, Ryan... Ryan Childs and Joseph. Yeah, I know Tura. I know Tura. Yes, yeah, Joseph we, Brown. Bless up the man. Bless up bless the man. Bless up. Bless <laughs> up. We, we want to get him here. We want to get him here. He's He's been kind of hesitant on the date, but we definitely want to get him here because he lives here. Him, uh, Ryan and Joe, they both live here. Um, Awelda and the Uprising. Ad Adwella. 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 Yeah, the king, yeah. He's going to slap it, me it. next time yeah. he sees me. Uh, but uh, I actually invited him here before he won his reggae uh, award. Mm -hmm. And he's been here uh, three times and one, one TV show. I have one show devoted to them, one hour devoted to them. And. Um, Ross Slick, who has come. No Ross Slick. Uh, no okay. Ross Slick. Bless, bless Ross. Bless, I mean, bless this, area, Ross. This, this area right here is, is, is infatuated with some really, really nice artists that come out of this area. And of course, by me doing what I do in the community, I see a lot of the local artists from this area. Mikey Joshua, the clan, like this is saturated. I cannot say how much Northern Virginia, uh, Virginia in its own culturalistic way have taken on reggae by a storm. Like Yes. We yes. need something really big to go on here. So I know there's people out there listening to this world. You promote us? Yes. No, we, need a, <laughs> we need something like a world tour here. Bring us a regular oh, world tour yes. here. Oh, yes. You know we definitely I mean? need a world tour here. I definitely agree with you there. That we definitely need to have a, a world tour in Northern Virginia. Because we're very close to D.C. What, 30 minutes Then I can that? come see you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're welcome all the time. Oh, you definitely, know, definitely. if I you can bring that. some models here, I can put you on TV. Oh, I can. Seriously, we can, we can so that we, can we make that happen? Oh, ten percent tell you, she can get <laughs> that together. Make anything <laughs> happen, baby. <laughs> so, but I want to ask a couple questions while we're waiting on Sheppy you, and one of them is that I ask every guest that come here, every single guest, why reggae? Uh. My culture, my roots, my soul, my heart. Uh, my family originated from the West Indies, so uh, it's a little bit of reggae in all of us, in everybody, in every human being. You know what I mean? I do it, it, if we know where we, you don't know where you're at unless you know where you came from. That you is so true. So uh, to all the people out there, is realizing when you're riding around in your car and you're wondering what's going on. Dig into where you come from so you know where you're going, your next roots, because reggae is in all of us. Reggae is definitely in all of us. And like I said, when I came here and I was trying to figure out what I was going to do here, because I knew I was going to do something here. Mm -hmm. I was very determined to do something here. And um, I know that I had all these CDs and DVDs from Bob Marley. And, um, but I didn't want to just do Bob Marley. Um, and this particular station can't really devote on one particular individual. And um, when I was scouting around, I had heard from LinkedIn 
uh, somebody had um, contacted me, Beverly Johnson actually, not the model, but Beverly mm -hmm. Johnson, and she had a, a act called Rosticize, which curtailed of David Portez and three other people, but they were from Poland. And Poland. And she was looking for somebody to um, introduce uh, Rosticize to America. Mm -hmm. and, and she saw me on LinkedIn and she's like, I've got to get them to uh, have David come here, which he never did, but he bought all of his music here. And I've talked to him. He's He's been on my show through Skype mm -hmm. three times, and he's from Poland. That means he's called from Poland to little old Fairfax, Virginia. Yeah, not little old so. Fairfax, Virginia. <laughs> Reggae is big in the world. Reggae is the world. Like, it is. So, Reggae is definitely the world. So that, that basically was my first interview, and, and it's been growing ever since. Uh, like I said, I've been on for five years, and I think Sheppy is here. Um, Empress, could you see if he's out there? Yeah, sure. yeah I, I've, I've actually ventured off into like just recently the interviewing production thing with uh, different artists. I've, I've actually had the, the opportunity to interview, I got a little company called Unity 3 Productions out of the Norfolk area. Uh, big ups to Portia and Kiana, my two assistants. Uh, uh, my two partners in the same, because I don't look at this business as being a, an assistant thing. We're all a partners. But uh, we've done Aki Becca from Midnight. We've done uh, Gramps from Morgan Heritage. We've covered a couple of different artists. Uh, of course, just walked in the room. Is uh, I call this man my best friend. So uh, you all about to be get an experience you never seen before because this gentleman here actually is from the UK, and we've grown a brotherhood because me and him have been working on some ventures together. But. Uh, if I can formally introduce him, if you don't mind, I would. Oh, like to. no, go ahead. Right. I want to introduce the world to the one and only, straight out of the UK, Jamaica Zone, my brethren, Sheppy U. Yeah, greetings, greetings to everybody. Yes, live and direct. Sheppy U inside the place, yeah? I'm outside the United Kingdom. Uh, now in the USA, original from J.A. <laughs> yeah. Yes? Yeah, Sheppy U inside the place, yeah? Greetings. From outside the USA, UK, and JA. Yeah, um, a recording artist, um, international recording artist. I've been in the business from 2007 firmly. But from, two, from um, the age of nine, I um, fall in love with music. You know, uh, being a lead singer in church. And then, um, you know, I, I migrate to the U United Kingdom. And then I started recording in 2007 with um, an independent label called the Riverside Label. Then I move on to work with um, various, various people. I, I work with um, Carlos Lopez. He's from, the, Fran in, from France. And um, also I work with a, a band called Jungle Lion Band, the lead singer, a very big band. I also work on my own stuff, like um, I've got quite a few singles out there. Well, I'm currently working on a album with um, with um, Joseph Kelly at the moment. So you just listen up, and you you will hear what we, what we have in store. Well, uh, we are from Virginia, um, Chesapeake, Norfolk, and I have to big up a lot of guys now. I have to big up the guys from France. You know, our friends, the uh, AFK sound, and I have to big up the men from um, Sheffield, she Sheffield, um, England, um, King David. I have to big you up every time. And I big up all the fans all, all over the world too. I've got a lot of fans all over. I want to big big you all up, man. So uh, I want to, I want I want to really touch something live for you inside the studio tonight. You know what I mean? I want to sing something for you. Uh, I will do a little acapella for you, you know. Oh, yeah, I that's, would that's, love that's, that. That's, yes, so. let's do some acapella. When I saw you, I could feel the differences in my life. Sing to them, Chappy. <laughs> You're like a diamond that glitters every time you see the light. Cause there are many stars, but just one moon. I want you to be my moonlight. Tonight, tonight, tonight. Come over and dance with me, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Come on and rock with me, girl. Oh yeah, yeah. You can check me out, man, every time, you know, we got stuff every time. 
ready for you, you know. SoundCloud, Sheppy U. Yeah, you can yo, check anywhere out. Anywhere you find him, Sheppy U. Look him up, look him up, yo. YouTube. Google him, YouTube him. The man called Sheppy U. Yeah, I was I was influenced by, um, you know, um, none like Barry Salmon and um, Gregory Isaac. You know, from a tender age, man, I fall in love with those guys, man. Those guys with the golden voice. And I always try to do a few stuff, man. I, I try to do a few stuff. And then eventually I find a sounding almost like these guys, man. I, I, I fall in love with one track by Barry Salmon. And the song that he inspired me with a lot, it was the song that said, um, those were the days when love used to rain, yeah. We dance all night to the songs they play. We can come again. We do it just the same, yeah. Right now we need a brand new style. Yes, Shabby. We need more music that plays from the heart. Very much so. We hardly <laughs> have any safe place left to go. Someone bound to come and try to spoil the show. Oh, oh, oh. Remember the songs used to make you rock cool it, cool away. Cool it, cool it, cool it, cool it, cool it. Those the days when love used to rain, yeah. Hey. Bless up all the listeners, you know, just Yo, Virginia, you, know? you ready? Yeah. Oh, the yeah. Yes. Are we ready in Northern Virginia? The DMV, are we ready? Boy, I well, just just, just to inform everybody, Sheppy's gonna be performing to, on Sunday at right. this thing called the Carrot Cool Down. It's actually the cool down for the Carrot Festival, which is this weekend in the Norfolk area. So Sunday at Lakewood Park, over in Norfolk, there's gonna be a Carrot Cool Down where they're inviting all the Caribbean community to come out on a potluck, like a family adventure thing, Ooh. where they give out as a as a fundraiser. They give out clothes for kids for school, they raise money for scholarships, they do other things in the community, and Sheppy's actually going to be performing at the Carib Cool Down this Sunday at Lakewood Live Park. and direct. Oh, sounds <laughs> like fun. Sounds like a lot of fun. So, but, you know, I have to have to actually do some work here. Can't always be fun. So, uh, so I have already asked Mr. Kelly why reggae? So I'm going to ask you, Sheppy, why reggae? Well, um, I was born in Jamaica. Oh, so uh, I should know, have uh, bought the Jamaican flag. <laughs> oh, and, um, oh, oh no. Know, so. Jamaica, um, reggae music is my culture. And, um, you know, reggae is really diverse. It's really big uh, in terms of it covers a lot of grounds. And, and you've got like um, the rock steady. You know, you've got the lovers rock. You've got the roots and culture. Mm -hmm. You know, it it, it is um like a like a Bible. You know, reggae music like a Bible. Very much of, so. Got a lot of message inside of it. You know what I mean? So if you check it out, like Bob Marley, right? He he sing a lot of cultural songs, but he also do a little bit of lovers lovers songs as well. And it's also yes. classed as reggae. You know yes. What I mean? So that's why I choose reggae. You know, reggae, reggae is very wide. You know, it covers a lot of ground. Yes, it does. <laughs> Definitely. They've got a lot of different instrument playing, and you can just pick one instrument and you move from that instrument, and you're still in the beat. All you need is one. Yes. Just one. Oh, right just there. one beat. <laughs> Definitely so. Definitely so. Definitely. <laughs> so, my next question what motivates you for music? Why music? Well, I was born that okay. way. Okay. I was born that way, you know, um, from the first time I blessed the hurt. You know, I definitely think I was, I was singing and dancing instead of crying, you know, I, I think so, you know, I, I just love music, you know, our times will just keep singing, uh, a lot of people sing in the shower, but I sing everywhere, <laughs> you know, I sing everywhere, and if once I start singing, I don't stop, you know, I'm not kidding you, singing and singing and singing, that's me, so I love music, you know, from, I was born. Very <laughs> cool, very cool, and Mr. Kelly, uh, I know you were talking about the events that are coming up in the Norfolk area, which I can't make this weekend. Um, That's okay. We, we got more coming. The, 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 the Caribbean community is getting huge in our area, and we have more and more every year. The events are getting saturated. So there's always winter time. We have Christmas events going on throughout Ooh, the year. So, that'd be really you know, nice. Yes. And, 
I don't know if any, I mean, you know of me, but I actually grew this fame from Facebook. And really, it's really wild that I've gotten these people like to know me from Facebook. But I actually post a lot of the events that if you want to know what's going on,